Hello, this is Thomas Galdenzi with Combat Sports Coverage. I'm here interviewing Matt Schnell on his upcoming Legacy 52 title fight. So Matt, tell me, how are you feeling heading into the biggest fight of your life? I feel great. I've put in a great camp. Uh, I appreciate you having me on the show, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I have, I've been training the American Top Team and you know, put in a great camp, and I'm ready for anything right now. Great. So I know you have been training of America Top Team. How long have you been training out there in their main base in Florida? Uh, it's coming up on two years now, which is crazy to think. And oh, wow. The reason I know that is because I'm getting all the, you know, uh, Facebook feed stuff. Like, oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, you know, you can see exactly what happened the, you know, on this day. So it's like today. Real cool. I've been in Florida. That's awesome. And have you have you been noticing a big difference in training with a great team like American Top Team? It's you know it's a, there comes a certain point in your career that you have to put yourself in the fire and uh, train with some with some good guys. You know it's good to be around uh, people who are doing what you're trying to do. Uh, you can bounce ideas off of them. You know mm -hmm. I get to test myself every day against the best guys in the world. So. Uh, no, it's it's amazing. That's awesome. How are you liking their new facility? Right? Didn't they just open up a new gym, kind of like a new one? Yeah, brand new, brand new fifty thousand square foot facility. Oh wow! Uh, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. There's plenty of mat space, you know. But we're, we're a big team, so we're still we still have to split up. Oh wow! Big classes and whatnot. We have to show up at different times, but even with all the new space. But it's been great. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's awesome to. You know, drive and pull up to that place every day. Yeah, I bet. So I know you're not fighting Demacio Page anymore, but tell me, like, how did it feel knowing that you were about to fight someone like Demacio Page with that big name who's fought all over? You know, he's fought in the UFC, WFC. How 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 were you? How like were you real excited? I'm guessing. Well, of course, I was excited. I mean, I was I was in high school. I think I was a junior in high school when I was watching that tap out show that he was on. Oh, wow. the guy with elbows from Mount. So this guy's been on TV since before I had even started training, and I of course was looking forward to the challenge. And uh, you know that's a that's a fight I look to uh, be. I, I see it happening in the future still. So. Yeah, I, I, I was. I know I was super pumped for that fight. That fight had fireworks written all over it. So hopefully you do get that fight eventually. And and tell me right now, what do you know about your opponent, Clayton Maya? Uh, Clayton Maya actually fought before. Last time we fought, he guillotined me in the second round. Uh, oh wow! Caught me with a caught me with a good shot and wobbled me, and I got a little desperate and took him down and got guillotined by you know got got caught in his best move. So. Uh, he's, he's a talented guy, you know, I can't take anything away from him, but I train hard, I believe in myself, and I was in that fight every step of the way until I got finished, and, you know, I can definitely, things will definitely be different. And how, so, since you guys have fought before, how are you feeling heading back into that, and getting that rematch with him? It feels great, I've actually never had a rematch my entire career, so, you know, uh, a shot of redemption, how, how often do you right your wrongs in this game? Uh, really, it doesn't come doesn't come around very often. So, I'm excited about it and uh, looking forward looking forward to it. I bet, especially since it's going to be for the legacy 125 pound title fight. How is that going to make you feel? Like if you when you do win, you know you'll revenge a loss plus you'll win a title. How how excited are you about winning that belt? You know, it's it's uh, it's really only the only belt I've ever been excited about winning. You know, even as an amateur, you go and you win a bunch of belts, and none of them really feel like they mean anything. But I set out to win this title when I signed with Legacy in 2012. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I never lost sight of that goal, and and I believe that everything I've ever set for myself, everything I've ever, uh, in, in this sport at least, any any goal I've ever set for myself, I've accomplished, and I made that a goal when when I when I signed with Legacy. I, I thought that it was attainable then. And it's great that it's, uh, here it is, you know, we've, uh, we've got to knock down another one. Let's go. Yeah, right? That's going to be awesome. It's really deep, and I love it. And so tell me, I know you used to be on the um, MTV show uh, Cage. So how, how was this, like, doing a show like that? Because I, I know you had to be pretty young on that show. And, you know, being just an amateur fighter, how did it feel, you know, already having all that pressure, all the cameras, all that spotlight over your career when you were just pretty much starting? Uh you know, it was great. 
it was it was a great experience. I can't uh, I can't call it anything but that. I think it was good for me. You know, it was good for me to, to be put out there. And it's it's made it's helped out a lot. It's made me recognizable everywhere everywhere I've been. When I go to Thai, you know, I went out to Thailand a few years ago, and you know, people recognized me there, and it, it afforded me better opportunities to, to train with better people. So I'm grateful for it. It, it was a it was a good experience. And I think you know, as far as the pressure of it went, I think I was putting more pressure on myself than anybody else was. Like, there will always be expectations. Anytime, anytime you do well in something and, and are impressive opponents, people will, will put expectations on you. So you just got to deal with it uh, and make sure you're not putting too much pressure on yourself. So I'm trying to have fun out here. And mm-hmm. That's something. That was an experience that uh, that helped me realize. Um, yeah, where I'm trying to go. Yeah, it was a great show. I actually, I remember me, me and my friends, man. We were all really into that show. We thought it was awesome. So I always wanted to ask you, you know, a couple questions. I've always been a big fan of yours. And are you, are you still friends with any of those guys on the show? Like, do you still hang out yeah, or talk to any of them? Oh, that's awesome. We're, we're, we're all friends. Um, they're, they're, they're back home doing their thing. Tony Kelly is in Arizona. He still fights competitive. You know, he's still out there doing his thing. I think he's five and oh, six and oh as a pro uh, MMA yeah. fighter. And, He's kickboxed a lot. Went to Thailand and kickboxed and done did really well. I mean, so oh wow. Um, and so, do you feel like after this win, if you can win, you know, this Friday night, win that legacy title? Since the UFC uh, flyweight division is kind of a smaller division, do you think it's, um, you know, they're going to be calling? Because I feel like they will be if you can get an impressive win. You know, you're a pretty big name, I feel like, for the weight class, and they need young, talented stars like you. And I feel like if you can do a great win this Friday night, I feel like they're going to be calling. So how do you feel about that? Uh, you know, I can't, I can't really talk to what the UFC is thinking. I, uh, I know who I am and what I'm capable of. I would love to fight in the UFC, obviously, but I'm trying not to think much further past this Friday night. I'm going to go beat this guy up and we'll see what's next. But I tell you what, I knocked the guy out in 19 seconds in front of Dana White. They didn't sign me then. So, oh, wow. you know, who, who's, who's to say, you know, I'm out here. I think I'm a marketable guy. I speak well and, and, uh. I love the game and I, I love to fight. So uh, the UFC could use a guy like me. I know that definitely, especially in that division. They need they need a star. And then also, what's something you like to do outside of just training and fighting in MMA? You know, I'm, I'm blessed and I'm fortunate uh, because my hobby is my profession, and uh, I I train and I rest and I work. I have a job outside of. MMA, so uh, I, I really don't have much leave time if I'm, if I'm at home, you know, I'm either cooking or probably laying in my bed going to sleep, you know, no. watch a little TV on the way, uh, you know, when I'm, I'm about to go to sleep, but other than that, you know, I train and uh, I teach martial arts and I, I work with kids, I love mm. my life. Nice, well, where do you teach at? Do you teach at American Top Team or a couple other gyms? No, I, I work at a Taekwondo school. Oh, um, nice. That's that's there locally in uh, Cool Springs. It's right around the corner from my house, and I I drive the aftercare bus and I pick up the children and, and I, I help them with their homework and I teach a little, you know, I teach a few classes. I work about five hours every every day. So oh, that's cool. It's perfect, and it's it's a very rewarding job as well. I I enjoy it. Awesome. And so, is there anyone that you would like to thank or any sponsors or anyone that's really been there during the training camp helping you out for this camp? Yeah, and I've got a great group of training partners out here at American Top Team. I'd like to thank all the guys uh, who worked with me throughout. Uh, a, a bunch of a bunch of people have, have put in, in, in this thing, and uh, I can't wait to go out there and show out. Of course, my sponsors, uh, Thank you guys, um, my, my girlfriend, my family, my friends. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. Exactly. Nice. Well, thank you again for coming on the show and spending the time and letting me interview you. And uh, everyone, make sure to check out Match Nell this Friday night on Axis TV fighting for the Legacy 125 title.